host is Tom Butts with Accelerated Concepts, and today we're going to reflash an AT&T 8200 VPN gateway back to factory settings. Step one is we've got to have the reflash CD. If you don't have this, please contact us. We'll get it for you. Step two, you're going to need a laptop, a desktop. doesn't really matter. Again, does not have to be state-of-the-art, and this is definitely want one. And you put the CD in, make sure the BIOS is set to boot uh, that CD, and you have one command you need to type in once that CD boots. If you miss the command, it will go into a different mode. Uh, so you have to type STD to get it in. So Sam, Tom, Donald. Here it is. It's asking me, see the boot command, STD. I only got 10 seconds. If you miss it, just reboot the laptop. But once you type in the STD, you're done with the laptop. You never have to touch it again. Let's move over to the 8200. Now with the 8200, this could have a configuration for a fixed IP address on the WAN port or something else. So we want to flash this back to its original settings first, and then we'll let the laptop update it to the latest firmware. What port we're going to use is the WAN port. So WAN 1 every time, this port, we're not going to use any of these other ports. So we take the Ethernet cable and plug it into WAN 1. Now, by the way, it takes about 10 minutes for this process. So if you want to do more than one at a time, just put a hub or a switch between the laptop and, the, and the, all the 8200s you have, and they'll all work simultaneously. So we're plugging into WAN 1. We want to reflash it back to configuration settings. So we're going to plug in the power and we're going to hold down the reset button. But you have to watch the front of the panel. So between three or four of these LEDs have to be lit up before you let out the button. So here we go. I'm holding down the button. I'm using a little screwdriver type device. You can use a paper clip, whatever you want. And I plug in the power. So I'm watching the front display. If you look at the front display here, the LEDs start walking. And when you get to four or five, you just let the screwdriver out of there. It will now finish flashing and you can go away. We'll see you in 10 minutes when this is done and we'll talk about what the screen should look like, etc. Thank you. Back. We finished the process. Let's look at the MAC address of this device. You can see it's got a bunch of numbers. Let's just focus on the last four, 39, nine Edward. We wanna make sure that's the one that was flashed. So let's go over to the screen. If you look at the screen, the thing we're looking for is, let's forget any kind of error message, anything else that's happening. We're looking for this. That MAC address, 2704-2399 Edward, image is up to date. That means this device is ready to go. We're done flashing it. Thanks for watching.